It's very hot. It's very humid. It's very cloudy outside. Can you hear that? It's been a very busy day. It's my day off. It's 20 to 5 in the evening, and I'm just getting a coffee. Because I've been on the go since about 7 o'clock this morning. Feeding. Going to get feed. And then butchering. And and uh, canning and making broth. And I also was in the garden. So, yeah, it's been a very productive day. Got the pressure canner going. We got the broth going. We butchered four chickens. And so the carcasses and the bones, I just left a little bit of meat on for the broth. And that's going to cook for the next two days. And I put some thyme and basil for my garden in it. That's the bottles of chicken meat. That's going to come off in a minute. And I'm sorry, I just turned the heat off. So that's why it's like that. Um, so it can now drop its pressure so I can open the canner. Um, because if not, it it could explode and I don't want that. <laughs> so I gotta do it carefully. So I'm letting the temperature drop so I can open it. I also picked a bunch of beans. So those are gonna be my first canned beans of the season. So I'm going to have to snap them after. I'll show you a picture of my, or a view, I guess, of my jungle garden again. Yes, tomorrow is weeding day and whipper snipping day. But I have so many bonus plants, and especially tomatoes. I um, you can see one there. There's like three more over there uh, where I didn't pick up the tomato clippings, and from when I was letting them uh, get, when I was thinning them all the time, they get their roots established. So uh, a lot of those clippings actually reseeded or rerooted into my garden so now I'm stuck with them which is fine I like bonus tomatoes uh, yes I have 60 tomato plants plus probably with 20 more bonus plants um, and I'm leaving them go and you'll notice my tomatoes are very bushy and not standing up that great I've had to prop them up in places that's fine we can do that we can work with that uh, we have lots of equipment to try and stand them back up. We'll get some stakes, some metal posts, drive it in the ground, and that's what we'll do. Um, also, I'm going to be pulling the pea plants out. So I can use the stakes from the pea plants for the tomato plants now. I only get three days off in a run of a week, and I work 40 plus hours a week. So it sometimes doesn't get done on time. popping already. I just took them out. I did four cans. So they're still bubbling. I'll have to sit here for 24 hours. Um, that's our layer hens that we got last year. The older ones that were kind of naked. I processed for an hour and five minutes. It beats like four hours. Um, I actually wouldn't pressure, I wouldn't have ever attempted water bath canning for chicken. Um, only pressure canning because it is meat. Uh, so now I'll clean my canner. I have to wash it. Um, and then prep it for doing beans and I'll do beans next. So busy canning day. noticing a break in the video I'm wearing something different yes this is over a course of a few days because lately that's how everything rolls and I ain't got time to pick up the camera um, I did a bunch of peas yesterday I'm going to do a bunch more today a bunch more beans and right now it's really late in the morning it's like 
Sorry, I had a piece of bag on my tooth. 11 o'clock, right in the dot. And I'm just heading outside to water my birds. Really, really late because we've had horrible thunderstorms this morning to the point where you it was not safe to go outside. Definitely was not safe to go outside. And uh, therefore, I hid in the house with my dogs who hate thunder and Still, there's still thunderstorms in the area because they're still chilling in their kennel. Um, they go to their kennel and I put them in. That's for their security. Um, not because I want to be a mean mommy and kennel my dogs all the time. It's for their security. They don't like thunderstorms. So being together and close together in their kennel, that's where they feel safe. They're actually taking a nap right now instead of being anxious. We got the tomatoes standing somewhat back up. A couple steaks that I had for the pea trellis. Um, I noticed I guess it's been sitting down wet today instead of trying to put roots off um, which is fine but just to show how full my tomato plants are they're friggin full this year. Excuse my language. I don't want to hit this post. Just to show how full just these two plants are with tomatoes. Oops. There. There. This one's fuller than this one, but they're both, they have a good amount of tomatoes on them. I'm noticing with the rain, unfortunately, a lot of my tomato plants are going to have to be steak back up. I see my brand new wine falling over and I have another beef steak over here. Two of them actually falling over. So I'm going to have to address those today. Holy moly, it's already warm. The rain ended, humidity started. Wowzers. I'm going to have to peel the sweater off. Just to show you how large these tomato plants is, I'm five foot two. Due to my shoulders. So they're at least almost five feet high. <laughs> so yeah, they're getting pretty big. They're right to here. If I had them trellised uh, better, if I had them staked up higher and where they could definitely go out better, they would actually be probably over seven feet tall um, because the way I have them done this year, um, which I probably will never do again, I will throw that out there. This is the top of the plant here. This is the top of the plant. And it's as tall as I am. So, next year, tobacco sticks. For sure. But I'm going to have a great tomato year. That's oh, a given right now. Look, I've only been out here probably 40 minutes. And I fix those tomato plants. And yes, I understand my garden looks like a jungle right now guys I get three days off in a run of a week and sometimes the garden is the last thing to get done because I have animals I have other gardens um, we have chores we have children like and sometimes the weather the weather lately has been a big part of it we'll set a plan to do the garden and then we get severe thunder showers and thunderstorms so unfortunately I just have to look at my garden and say okay you are what you are, it is what it is. We'll pick and clean the best we can, but tomorrow's another day and we'll just love our food garden. Or I should say our food forest. Yes, it's exactly what it is this year. It's a food forest. But on a brighter note, four rows of peas, very heavy rains last night and this morning. I got that full of beans. That's great great accomplishment that'll probably make another six uh, half pints so that'll put my my uh, total to a full case there's lots more life in these beans there's tons more coming out so I'm probably gonna end up with my four cases for sure this year uh, I have a bucket right there I have more peas to pull out this morning and that's when I'm gonna use the trellis to fix my tomato plants that are falling over um, I'm going to use the stakes of the trellis to do that. So that'll be fixed. 
And yeah, it's a busy morning. Very busy morning. And I just got stung on the elbow by a bee. Today was a successful harvest and farm day. I actually got six eggs. These, there's four more of these in the house from this morning. Um, the babies are doing great. I got some peppers. And I didn't realize um, that one of my smaller pepper plants had peppers even on it. I just completely bypassed it. And then I checked and these big peppers came off that plant. So I'm definitely using these peppers tonight in supper. Don't know what I'm making, but I'm using the peppers. So I love peppers. So yeah, firm is it. definitely producing. Oh man, I got two eggs out in a run today. Two good eggs too. Crap, you'll notice I'm down in chickens. Um, yes, I know this is pretty gross looking. Um, it is what it is. It just rained. Severely bad thunder showers. And so everything got wet. Everybody got wet because they in and out. But I'm going to show you the babies. Here here. You'll see the Sammies are out of the enclosure. Hi, baby. We have some Sammies out. Some barred rock chicks out. And then the rest of our little chickens in. I just pulled this away from the wall so they can get in and out free will. Um, so they have a place to hide where the bigger birds don't fit. Um, and it's working in their favor. I'm gonna leave this out, try to pull out a little bit more because I do see that they're a little cramped. So this is just so the bigger birds, like these guys, can't pick on them. Because I still have some leghorn chicks in here, not ready to come out. Um, they've actually had a, they're two weeks younger than my bar rock, my, my I am Seamies. Um, so they're not ready to come out, but they're a lot smaller and they should be normal size. So I'm having a little bit of growth problems with them. Um, so they're still on chick feed. These guys are on grower. Everybody's actually on grower right now. I've done away with the chick feed, with the laying feed. Um, dropping my egg production on purpose because I don't want them laying in the winter time. It's now going to be August. It'll take a month for them to actually stop laying. Um, then the rest of these guys are getting butchered off. This is going to be my flock. The colored ones and the white ones. And the seamies. I'm actually getting rid of three seamies because I found out they're roosters. Don't want a whole lot of roosters because I have Charlie Brown. And the two silky roosters are also going. But yeah. It is what it is. Tell you something like. Um, so I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Whoever says tomatoes need a lot of water is full of crap. This brandy wine has never had water. Aside from the rain, I've never watered it. It doesn't even have a lot of soil left. Um, it's putting off fruit, as you can see. So, whoever says, oh, tomatoes use so much water, blah, 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 blah. No, it's untrue. Tomatoes don't need a lot of water. Actually, tomatoes thrive better when they're a little bit, actually, when they're a whole lot of dehydrated. I don't water my garden right now because one, it's dry. Um, two, we're getting a lot of thunderstorms. And three, um, by overwatering, you're wanting to bring on pests. And four, I don't have time. By the time I get home from work, I get the kids satisfied. I get the farm chores done. The watering is the last of my worries. And I just don't. So no, tomatoes do not need just water. When uh, we thought the thunderstorms were over, here comes thunderstorm number two today. It's rolling in and it's rolling in fast. Um, by the way, did you notice this? Yeah, we got a farm upgrade. Isn't it pretty? That's our new vehicle. My new vehicle, actually. We still have the white GMC too. Yeah, here comes thunderstorm number two.